Vitamin D3 is required by every cell in the body, and without sufficient amounts, we get sick, like really sick. It's estimated that half the adult population in the world is deficient of vitamin D, and you may be one of them. So this is why it's so important to pay attention to the top warning signs of a vitamin D deficiency. Stick around to the end of the video because at the end, we'll talk about how much vitamin D3 you should take daily. Your body is designed to produce sufficient amounts of vitamin D3. Your body's incredibly smart. It takes cholesterol, and when sunlight directly hits the skin, it converts it into vitamin D3. But there's only one problem. In today's world, hardly anybody gets enough sunlight directly hitting their skin, and we don't eat the foods that are high in vitamin D3. And as a result, we end up with a deficiency and become very unhealthy for it. So let's take a look at the top warning signs that you may have a vitamin D3 deficiency. The first top warning sign of a vitamin D3 deficiency is that you're getting sick often due to a depressed immune system, making you more prone to infection. Now, I really want to drive this point home because we have a very deceptive pharmaceutical system out there that makes billions of dollars off of people who have vitamin D3 deficiency and are getting sick as a result. When you take vitamin D3, it activates antimicrobial peptides in the human immune cells. And as a result of that, it amplifies both antiviral activity and antibacterial activity in your body. In the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition, they reported that children given Vitamin D3 in the winter were 67% less likely to get the flu. In a three-year study on vitamin D3 supplementation and the incidences of colds and flu, subjects who supplemented with vitamin D3 had a 70% reduced incidence of colds and flu compared to the group that didn't supplement at all. Even more astonishing is the group that was given 2,000 IUs of vitamin D3 daily the incidence of cold and flus dropped by over 99%. Now, I have yet to see data that a flu shot can perform that well. Our next top sign of a vitamin D3 deficiency is inflammation, and this is something you really want to keep under control. Vitamin D3 is essential for controlling both inflammation and healing in your body. As we look at vitamin D3, it plays a significant role in shutting down the chronic inflammatory process. And this point is so significant because if you have a vitamin D3 deficiency, this means that you'll have more joint pain, you'll experience more muscle aches, and also it will even be involved in chronic inflammatory diseases like cancer. In the Journal of Pain Treatment Topics, it states, helping patients overcome their chronic musculoskeletal complaints and pain may be as simple and economical as simply having them supplement with vitamin D3. And to speak on the importance of vitamin D3 in reducing cancer, there was a study that was published in the American Cancer Society Journal, and they reported that vitamin D3 sensitive cancers were responsible for 257,000 deaths, or 46% of all cancer deaths in the US in 2007. Don't underestimate the power of vitamin D3. And you may be asking, why is there such a problem with a vitamin D deficiency today when we never had these problems before? Well, there's multiple reasons this is. One is that we don't eat like we used to. There's a good chance that you're not eating beef liver on a regular basis, fish liver, or maybe even drinking cod liver oil. Also, the use of sunscreen is a big problem. People cover themselves with sunscreen and don't allow the sun to hit their skin so they don't get the benefit of the sun. And then if we were to look back at our ancestors, they spent hours outside foraging for food, tending to their fields. We don't do that either. And most people today are working indoors at a desk or in front of a screen. So this is why it's more important than ever before today to understand the top signs that you may have a vitamin D deficiency. Our next top warning sign of a vitamin D3 deficiency is going to be insulin resistance and weight gain. Research now correlates both pre-diabetes and type 2 diabetes to a vitamin D3 deficiency. Now to say that that's the only reason somebody would have this would be clearly false, but certainly it doesn't help overcoming these problems of insulin resistance if you have a vitamin D3 deficiency. Further research correlates the accumulation of fat around the belly with a vitamin D3 deficiency as well. Now I want to take a look at a sign of vitamin D3 deficiency that is really critical for you to pay attention to because I see this all the time in clinical practice. And that is going to be an increase in forgetfulness, 
anxiety, and also depression. You have to be very cautious of any deficiency that will impact your brain health because what happens is it changes the perception of the world around you. It'll have an impact on your health on your job, on your relationships, and you may not even know it. And that's why it's very important to make sure that we keep our vitamin D3 to a sufficient level. And the good news, it's an easy fix. And we'll get to the dosing of how much vitamin D3 is necessary to take in just a minute. The next sign to look out for that vitamin D3 deficiency is slow wound healing. So if you get cuts or scrapes on your skin and it just takes forever to heal, just know that it could be the result of a vitamin D3 deficiency. Another sign of a D3 deficiency that you wanna watch out for, especially as you age, is going to be bone loss. We hear all the time that you're supposed to take calcium in order to maintain proper bone strength and integrity, but oftentimes vitamin D3 is left out and it is equally as important. Now, this problem of bone demineralization affects women more so than men. So make sure that as you're aging, you do have sufficient amounts of vitamin D in your system. The topic of vitamin D3 is not talked about enough. In fact, it's even a little bit controversial. There's been times where they tried to turn it into a pharmaceutical so that you couldn't just go to your regular grocery store and pick some up. Now, the reason for this is because obviously there's billions of dollars to be made off of monetizing your healthcare problems. So I wanna make sure that I arm you with the facts. Now, Dr. John Connell, who is the executive director of the Vitamin D Council says, illnesses associated with deficient vitamin D3 include cancer, cardiovascular disease, diabetes, and other endocrine diseases, infections, autoimmune disorders, mental health and learning disorders, musculoskeletal disorders, neurological disorders, including autism and multiple sclerosis, dental cavities, periodontal disease, respiratory diseases, skin disorders, and women's health issues such as low fertility and polycystic ovarian syndrome. They go on to say, evidence even suggests that vitamin D3 is involved in the triple current childhood epidemic of autism, asthma, and autoimmune diabetes. Not only do tenable mechanisms of action exist to explain vitamin D3's role in all three, but epidemiological evidence suggests that vitamin D3's connection to these devastating diseases is continually growing. Do not underestimate the power of vitamin D3. I keep saying it, I know, but we're seeing how powerful it is and how neglected this topic is by most people. And now you can really see how important it is to recognize these top warning signs of a vitamin D3 deficiency that you must know about. In the United States alone, experts believe that 370,000 deaths and $140 billion in healthcare spending could all be avoided if proper amounts of vitamin D3 were maintained. According to one review, it's estimated that 42% of adults in the United States have a vitamin D3 deficiency. Now, as you look at the different ethnic groups, the numbers will rise. So for instance, it's estimated that 70% of Hispanics have a vitamin D3 deficiency, and 82% of African Americans have a vitamin D3 deficiency. So what this tells us is that as your skin color darkens, the likelihood of your vitamin D3 deficiency goes up. In in order to avoid these problems, it's important to acknowledge these facts so that you can counteract against them. So what in the world can we do in order to make sure that we have adequate amounts of vitamin D3 in our body? Well, the first thing we can do is incorporate more vitamin D rich foods. Vitamin D rich foods include mushrooms, liver, fatty fish, and also cod liver oil, which is one of the best sources. Another great way to get sufficient levels of vitamin D3 in your body is to make sure that you're getting at least 30 minutes of sunlight hitting your skin every day. We wanna have direct sunlight without sunscreen, of course. Now, me personally, I live in a cold climate here in Michigan, so it is impossible for me to get 30 minutes of direct sunlight on my skin every day. And not to mention, there's overcast half the time. So. If I was to try to get it all from food, I would have to eat a ton 
of vitamin D3 rich food, which is also not happening. So what I do is I actually supplement with vitamin D3 every day without fail. I'll put a link in the description to the vitamin D3 that I use. It's highly absorbable and it also comes from a really good quality source, which is very important for a vitamin D3. Now, if you want to know if you have a sufficient amount of vitamin D3 in your body, you want to get a blood test. And when you get this blood test, the ideal range in which your vitamin D3 level would be at is above 50 nanograms per milliliter. As we look to how much vitamin D3 you should take every day, it gets a little bit complicated because experts are all over the board on this topic. The Endocrine Society recommends that you take around 2,000 IUs of vitamin D3 every day. Whereas Dr. John Cannell, who we've referenced multiple times in this video, he's the executive director of the Vitamin D Council, he says between four to 5,000 IUs every day. Me personally, I take 5,000 I use a vitamin D3 only if I don't get 30 minutes of direct sunlight hitting my skin. I'm Dr. Nick Sarowski, and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you never miss an opportunity to improve your health naturally. I really think you'll like this video next.